Hey everyone, welcome back. It's that time again. So, some of you might have caught the live stream that we did last week. We were talking about different bits of exercise kit um, that we might see in the gym. Um, more importantly right now, how we might be able to replace those or find a substitute that's all laid around the house. Um, if you didn't catch the live stream, definitely go back and check it out. Um, our plan for today, rather than going body weight like our last two sessions have been, we're going to add a little bit of resistance just by taking a couple of tins from in the cupboard. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of a time to look through all of our exercises before we jump in. Before we do that, let's just get you warmed up. Right guys, to get yourself warmed up, just make sure you've got plenty of space around you. I'm just going to start with a little jog on the spot. Get those arms moving as well. Start bringing that heart rate up a little bit. There we go, we'll change it up, heel kicks. And we've got staying on your toes. Walk on feet together, jump apart, touch the floor. We're warming them legs up. I'm going to come into a walkout. So we're going to go both hands flat on the floor, walk out into plank. Bring it back in, keep them legs nice and straight. One more pause at the end, just going to some mountain climbers. Same again, just feeling that heart rate coming up. Just getting everything moving. Okay, cool, warm up done. Should loosen you up a little bit. Grab yourself a couple of tins. We're going to have a look through these exercises. Right, so make sure you've got your tins. I'm going to run through each of these exercises, just give you a look at what they're going to be before we get around to doing them. Yeah, so our first one, we're going to do a star jump. Nice and simple on the spot, can in each hand. Just get those arms out, yeah? Just adds a little bit of resistance, works them shoulders a little bit harder. There we go, from there straight into Romanian deadlifts. So what we're going to do, bend your knees. Set the cans just on the outside of your legs. Flat back, and then imagine there's a rope around your waist. Pulling your back over, so you push your hips back. Don't bend your legs anymore. Don't need to bend those knees, keep your bum up high. You should feel that stretch down the back of your legs rather than on your quads like you would with a squat. From there, back up to arms. So we're going to go with a curl and press. So palms facing out over. Bring up the shoulders, twist and push at the same time. Back down, back down, yeah? Twist, push, twist. Back down, side on, up. Now we've got a curl and press. On the abs, we're going to go leg raise. You can make these as hard as you like. You can either go one tin, up and over, get those abs working. If you're feeling ambitious, go with two to work them legs. There we go, get them flexors and the abs working a little bit harder. From leg raises, we're going to go into a lunge. So you want both hands up at eye level, and we're going to step either forwards or backwards like we do with lunges. And with each one, hold, press. Yeah, alternate legs, both arms press every time. Bring your knee nearly touches, but not quite. There we go, arms and legs working with that one. Yeah, so back over to abs. We're going to set both hands over to one side. And come into a plank alongside, reach with your opposite arm through, move your hands across to the other side. Back to plank, swap arms, keeping those abs nice and tight, keep that core engaged, Just moving both tins from side to side. There we go, we're getting there. Planks. We'll go into rear flies, bring your back and the back of your shoulders in a little bit more. We're going to come into that same star jump position, can on each hand, tilting forward, a little bit of a bend at your knees, and then straight out to the side, yeah? Out and back over, let's get the back of them shoulders, some of those back muscles working as well. There we go, a couple to go, back to abs, down onto your bum, lean yourself back, 
grab the camera with your foot, bring it in, legs back out. Take your time, keep that control. Do one with the can, one with them. Any problem with them, you can always use your arms and just take that lower back out of the equation. Two to go, squat push. Nice and simple, both into your chest. You're gonna come down into a squat, out, back in, and back up. Yeah, so we're down, out, in, and up. Legs are working, core's working, arms are working as well. And our last one, we're gonna go with some plank taps, same again, either one or two high, coming into plank, go elbows, and just reaching out, tapping that in. The further you reach, the harder your abs are gonna to have to work. There we go, all 10 exercises. Make sure you've got your tins, grab yourself a drink, have a minute and we'll get the first round done. Alright guys, so what we're going to do today, we've got 10 exercises and each one of them is going to be utilising one or two of our tins. Yeah, sometimes we're going to be using it for resistance, sometimes we're working around. Most of them, the tins are just adding a little bit of resistance, so if you find that you're struggling with any of the exercises, take the tin out or whatever it is that we might be doing with the tin and just focus on plenty of control. And think about the movement itself and just get that nailed first. So we've got three rounds to do. We're going to do the longest one first. Each one's going to get a little bit shorter. So our first set, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. Second set is going to be 30 on, 15 rest. And our last one's going to be 20 on, 10 rest. Yeah, so each set's getting shorter. The work time's getting shorter, but so is your rest time as we're going through. Yeah, so we're going to have like a minute's rest after each, uh, after each round. Of course, as always, feel free to just give each exercise a go as I'm demonstrating, just so you can get a feel for them now and really push yourself each set when we get around to them. Right, so first round. Like I was saying before, first one's going to be our longest. Gives us plenty of time to get used to our exercises and gives you plenty of recovery in between as well. Like I was saying, as them sets come down and the work gets shorter, so does your rest as well. Yeah, so this is the one where you're going to get the most rest. Make the most of it, take your time with each exercise. Like I say, we're 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to rest up. Grab your tins, grab a bit of space. I'm gonna start with star jumps, 40 seconds. Away we go, just on the spot. So if we get any trouble with any of the exercises, just try dropping the tins out. Last few seconds. There we go, so we've got 20 seconds to rest up. Quick drink if you need one. Get yourself set for this next exercise. So we're gonna be a little bit of a bend in your knees, straight back, hands are on the outside of your legs, and we're just gonna push your hips back over and feel the pull down the back of your legs. Right, let's go. So into position, knees are bent, push them hips backwards, back stays flat, and come up to the top. There we are, keep them tins in nice and close. Don't want them out there. Keep me in against them legs. Hips are coming back over. And feel that pull right down the back of your hamstrings. So just keep that tension on. Remember, we're not squatting, not bending those knees. Just make sure that we aren't locked. Last few seconds. See it, stretch them out. Nice one, deadlift's done. So we're gonna go arms next, curl and press. So we're gonna be biceps in front of your shoulders or your delts. We're gonna be hands up your shoulders, twist, and push above your head and together, back down and apart, yeah? Right, third exercise. Let's go, so biceps, so we're up, twist and push. Twist on the way back down to there. Same again, so we're just hinging at the elbow and then press. See, we're not relying on momentum to swing and rock them weights up. 
all controlled. And there we go, even if you need to take a little bit more time, get the movement down. There we go, a couple more. Nice one. Leg raises next. So we're down onto the floor. One can or two, entirely up to you. We'll go two because it's the first round and I'm filling up the mistake. <laughs> go. Hands under your back. Just take that strain off your lower back. We're going to be feet up and over. See, so thinking about your breathing, always deep breaths when we're training your core. And we'll go if you need to, take a second in between each one. Keep them moving where you can, keep them abs engaged. Just up and over, side to side. Even rest your head if you can. Just make sure you're up and over. And we'll go halfway. Lunge with overhead press. So let me do our lunges, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Either step backwards into it or step forwards into it. We're going to go both teams up at about shoulder height. We're going to step. We're going to press both together. Yeah, so we're going to step 90 degrees of both knees. Push down, back to start. Swapping legs after each one. Thinking about your balance and your control as much as anything. And keeping that rear knee up and off the floor. And we're going to a lot to think about. There's a lot of balancing involved. Any problems, just take the tins out. Focus on your balance. It's with them regular lunges. There we go, feel them legs warming up. So we're into plank. I'm going to go with a pull across as well, yeah? Take some stability out, pick one hand up, move both tins across to the other side. So you want to be able to reach through with your opposite arm, yeah, rather than this one. Reaching through, pulling across, yeah? There we go, so cause tight again. Take your time, all about control. Don't forget that breathing either. Think about where you put them, because you've got to go get them as well. There you go, you don't want to be chucking them all the way out there. Oh, nice one, it's harder than it looks. And there, so rear fly, so we're up to your feet, back to upper body, back to that star jump position, one in each hand. Same again, a little bit of a bend at each knee, chest out and tilt, tins under your chest, and we're going to come up and out to the side. Up and out, as well as back over, get the back of them shoulders working, some of them back muscles as well. Same again, nice and controlled, not relying on any bounce to throw them up. It's all coming from your back and your arms. Get that back flight, you don't want to let it start arching over. Chest out, chin up. There we go, getting up nice and high, coming out to the sides. Nice one. Nearly there, nearly there. So, abs next. So, down to one tin. Wouldn't like to try this for two. We're going to come in, hand over, legs back out, keep them up if you can. Come back out. Do one with. Yeah. Right, first set of these. Longest set we're doing as well. 40 seconds. See it. Nice tight grip. 
upper half's just coming back slightly. Bring them upper abs in as well. Last few seconds, couple more. There we go, two to go, back to legs. Both teams together again, squatting, pushing, coming back in, coming back to a standing position. So we're going to be down, out, in, and up. Like we do with any squat, keep your weight in your heels, keep your chest up, make sure them knees don't buckle in together. Be down, out, in, and back up. So think of it as four different movements rather than trying to do it all at once. So we're down, out, in, straight back up. Driving through them heels. There we go, feel them legs working. A couple more. There we go, one to go. Plank taps to finish us up. So you want to come in the plank on your elbows rather than palms. And you're going to reach out and just tap at the top of that tin. Just like that. Now the further you can reach, the harder your abs are going to work. All right, let's go. So you're trying to keep your hips still. They're going to want to rock around side to side like that. Keep them locked in place. Reaching as far as you can. For that tin. Keep them hips still. Deep breath, last exercise. Keep them abs tight, nearly there. There we go guys, first round done. Okay, we'll breathe out in a minute. Get yourself a drink. We've got two to go. Right guys, so second round. Remember this one's a little bit shorter. We're working 30 seconds instead of 40 and we've only got 15 seconds rest instead of 20, yeah? So shorter sets, we just push that a little bit harder, try and get as much out of each set as we can. Yeah, remember we're down to 30 on, 15 off this time round. Cool, so we're back to star jumps. Grab both your tins, plenty of space. 30 seconds, let's get this second round done. So we're back to star jumps. See, remember, the more you move, the more you're going to burn. You can come all the way up. Get a bit more movement in. Just careful chucking them tins around the living room. There we go. So a bit of a quicker turnaround. Back into those uh, Romanian deadlifts. Bit of a bend at your knees. Back's flat. Tins on the outside of your hips, push them hips back over. Remember, it's not a squat, you're not bending your knees, you don't want them locked. A little bit of a soft bound, and you're just pushing your hips back over, keeping your back as flat as you can. And again, you want to feel that pull down the back of your legs, 
Get them hamstrings working. And we always keep that back flat as well. Second one done, curl and press. So back to arms, coming up, using your biceps, twisting and pushing out, using them shoulders. Nice and controlled, not relying on any swinging. There we go. All the way up, back down. Pin them elbows at your side when you're doing your curl. And then you know, you're isolating that bicep, forcing the muscle to work. There we go. Once you get that movement down, you can afford to speed them up a little bit. Remember, we've got 10 seconds less each set to work with. Got to try and push that a little bit harder every time. Curl and press. Done. Leg raise. See him again. One or two. Depends how confident you're feeling. Lay it down. Hands under your lower back. You're going to go feet together. Up and across. Big deep breaths. Plenty of tension on your core. So you get the feel for where them tins are. If you want to rest your head, go ahead. Leg raise is done, up the lunges. So back to two tins, same again, either stepping backwards or forwards, whatever feels more natural here, whatever's more comfortable, tins at eye level, pushing both up together, yeah, every lunge. There we go, keep that ring knee up. And again, any problem, just drop the tins out. Try and focus on that lunge. And of course, we've been through plenty of alternatives already in our previous videos. To keep that control, last one, back to start. Nice one, halfway through the second one, plank pull across. So we're back to abs. Same again, another one where you really wanna just focus on taking your time. Think about the movement and all the tension in the right places where we want it. So we're in the plank. Pulling across with your opposite arm, so you're reaching under yourself to pull it across. There we go. The closer together your feet are, the harder your core's going to have to work to stabilise you. So if you're having any trouble, just bring your feet a little bit wider, give yourself a bigger platform and a little bit more stability. There we go, flying through the second one. Planks done, real flies. So we're coming up, bit of a bend in your knees, same again. Tilting forward with the flat back. Tin and chan, up and out of the side, and back over. Same again, nice and controlled. Don't want to be relying on a bounce or any momentum to get those weights up. And feel the back of them shoulders kicking in, nearly there. There we go, three to go. In and out abs. So same again, grab the tin with both feet, bring it in, grab it with your hands, come back out. Oh, deep breaths. Plenty of control. Roll some feet up if you can. Take your time. Get a good grip on that can. So you keep that core engaged. There we go, two to go. Squat with a push. So grab both your cans, remember we're down, out, in, 
and up. And we've got one more to do and second round's done. Grab a breather, tins in tight. And we go, so down nice and low, weighting your heels out, in, and back up. Down, out, in, and up. So just nice and controlled, take your time. Digging through them heels. Ten seconds. So second round's nearly done. There we go, one to go. Plank taps to finish up. Then again, just want your one tin. Back to elbows again. Keep your hips still. Just reaching out. Tapping that tin. I'm going to go elbows, same again. The closer together your feet are, the harder this is going to be on your core. Last exercise. Nearly there. Keep them hips still. Well done guys, two down, one to go. Grab yourself a drink and we'll get it finished up. Okay, so last round, we're going to be moving through it quite quick because we've only got 20 seconds to work, 10 seconds to rest, yeah? Sounds like it's going to be a lot nicer than that first one. See how you feel at the end of this one, yeah? So we're going to be moving nice and quick, relatively uh, rapid from one exercise to the next as well. So we're 20 seconds on, starting with star jumps. Got both your cans. Let's go, last set. Like star jumps on the spot. And we've just got one more set of everything. You can all get through one more set of everything. See so yeah, the last one. This one, star jumps done. Romanian deadlifts, bend your knees, weight on your outside of your thighs, drive those hips back over, back stays flat. Any tension on those hamstrings. And once you get a feeling for where that tension ends, you can actually take a little bit of range off. Keep that tension on. Just moving through where you can feel those hamstrings stretching. 20 seconds. There we go, that's them done. Curl and press. So biceps up and shoulder pressing above your head. Right, let's go so we're up, twist and push, twist and down. So 20 seconds, we've got to work as hard as we can, get the most out of them as possible. There we go, next, leg raise. Remember we just got 10 seconds between exercises, nice and quick. Let's go, I'm going to fly through this last one. Go 20 seconds, don't let them feet rest. Lunges, bring your tins with you, eye level, stepping forwards or backwards, big overhead press. We're going to go reverse for this set, so press, back to start.
20 seconds, done, lunges done, plank with a pull across, so you want both tins pulling across the body, yeah, in the plank, feet as close together as you can, last round, let's really challenge them abs, push each exercise as hard as we can. Nice and controlled. Last ones. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Rear flies. So standing up, both chins, palms facing in over. Bend your knees, tilt. And we go out to the side, nice and high. Coming a little slightly back over as well. Three flies done, three to go. In and out abs. The last one, grabbing your tin, bring it in and hand it off. Same again, we're only working 20 seconds, but your form is more important than how many reps we do. Don't lose that technique, don't lose that form. There we go, two to go, squat and push. Both teams together, feet about shoulder width. So we're down, out, in, straight back up. Yes, yeah, so we've got a little bit of a squat hold in there. Get them legs working. Bring your core in as well as we have to balance. There we go, last one, plank taps. 20 seconds and we're done, we're nearly there. Hit the plank, same again, feet right next to each other. Just really challenge that core. Last set, reaching as far as you can. There we go, three rounds done. Smashed it. So like you can see for yourself, like we were on about last week, you can really change things up, add another dynamic just by using a couple of little household bits that we've got laid around at the minute. Same again, any feedback, feel free to leave it. Get back to me or Mel, and let me know any sort of sessions you might want to see coming up. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. See you next week.